topic. Hi, you guys. Hi. Hi. How's it going? I'm good. I'm good. How's it going with you? Good. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> fantastic. Not trying to one up you. Just... Yeah, it feels like it. <laughs> fantastic. I'm like, I'm there for the fantastic situation. Okay. So I enjoyed you all in this film because what you did was extremely understated. And I know from being an actor myself that that's really hard to do mm. to, to, to keep um, a cap on the bottle, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But I so I wanted to commend you on your performances in that manner. And then I just needed to know, I mean, Jacob, your parents in this movie, they got shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> they got yeah. shenanigans. Oh, my goodness. Having said that, have either one of you had a moment where you, what, what was the most embarrassing thing your parents ever did to you? Oh, too many to count. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean... My parents were have always been uh, amazingly supportive, um, and maybe that's the place where it's been embarrassing sometimes because mm -hmm. I think they're blindly supportive of me. You know, they uh, sometimes don't recognize if I'm not that good at something. <laughs> so, uh, that's yeah, I don't know. no, same here. I, I feel like the, my grandma embarrasses me the most because. She uh, she's so proud of me, obviously, and I adore her. Um, but she just goes wow. around telling everyone that I'm an actress, that I'm a movie star. She tells the waiters uh, at a restaurant. She tells the store grocery clerk. <laughs> she tells anybody and everybody that she can that I'm a movie star actress, and uh, um, I very much appreciate it, but it can get a little embarrassing sometimes. I overstand. My mom does that to me sometimes, too, <laughs> and I'm like, they're like, you're famous. I'm like, mm, I'm kind of not. <laughs> <laughs> So being directed by Ray Romano, he's such a genius when it comes to acting and being funny. And this is his directorial debut. And it's a little more on the serious side, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just want to get your thoughts about being directed by him and, and what kind of um, lessons that you learned as working with him mm -hmm. on the director side. Because, you know... People that are directors who've been actors, they have a shorthand with us that most people would not, who have not been on the other side. You know what I'm saying? Right, absolutely. I definitely think we both felt that him being, having so much experience as an actor uh, really influenced the, his style of directing, which is amazing. I'm sure you can imagine as an actor yourself, like the way that he gives notes just makes sense to your brain. Um, and he just cares so much in the same way that you do about your character. Uh, so it feels like you're in it together. I really, really appreciated that about about his directing style, for sure. Yeah, Jacob? Yeah, I'd, I'd say the same thing. I think, like, his attentiveness is really unique. Um, I think, you know, not always are directors as attentive to every little thing that the actor is doing, but he, he really had that um, attention towards us and that empathy for us when he would, would give us notes. And, um, yeah, I mean, he, he's amazing to work with. I love that. I love that you guys... Feel, felt very supported by him because mm -hmm. that's important, especially with the types of characters you had in this film because this film is dealing with people who, you know, when you have a situation like what um, Styx has, when you when someone doesn't love you back, it feels like your whole world is crumbling around you and that you're the only person that's ever experienced that in life, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So have have you guys ever felt like that at some point where you just you've had a problem or something happened that felt so insurmountable that you're like nobody else could possibly be going through this for me? Yeah, absolutely. I think everybody has moments like that in their life where they're like experiencing a great pain and and they can't imagine that um, that it'll ever go away or that it'll ever get better or that anybody can understand them. And I think that's what's so beautiful about art and about movies and about books and about you know whatever form of art it is that you love, like. It, it makes you feel like you're not alone because and it makes you realize oh my gosh this person has already been through this before me and this person too and this person too and oh my gosh I can see myself um, I think that's what art is for it's important yeah I was gonna say the same thing yeah. uh, Ethan Hawke has a little interview where he talks about kind of the power of art and and it's pretty much exactly what Sadie just said um, so yeah <laughs> Okay, I need to hear more about this interview, though. You can't be like Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's literally... It's, art, and I tell you what it is. It's just an interview he did. I don't even know where it was from, but he was just talking about how, like, art is um, is sustenance for, for people that, you know, they might not know how much they need it as they're walking around their daily lives. And then um, the second something hits, the second something, you know, uh, tragic happens in their life, or even something amazing, 
they want to feel confirmed and they mm-hmm. they uh they look to art to do that i love that you a deep little person jacob <laughs> you say, y'all, y'all are some deep dolls but i love it because it makes an interview like this have a lot more substance mm-hmm. and i love that and we, i we love you, you and i love your roles and i'm looking forward to seeing much more from you in the future thank, thank you, you so much. much appreciate it you're welcome bye, bye. bye.